And hello folks, it is I, Kamikaze. I'm here to bring you a little tutorial on the CLR Browser Source plugin. I'm going to give the simple tutorial in regards to how to get it working and also the fix for most of you who have had the problem where you do not see Browser Source as an option to select. I will make everything simple, quick, and painless. So first of all, we're gonna do the stupid thing. Make sure that in regards to the bit of OBS that you're using, not the bit of your Windows, because 64-bit Windows can operate 32-bit programs, but not vice versa. So if you install the 32-bit version of OBS, you want to use the 32-bit version of this program. If you've installed the 64-bit version of OBS, you want to use this. Uh, and this works in either the studio and the standard. This is the same either way. This just changes from OBS to OBS space studio slash whatever the plugin folder is. So what ends up happening is you need to make sure those are installed and that you have the runtimes and the .NET installation. If you are still experiencing the problem where you do not have a browser source option, I have the solution for that as well. You hop it over to the open broadcaster software and then when you would normally go to download, you'd select Windows, Studio, and just like me and everyone else for most cases, you'd select latest Windows release, blah, blah, blah. So you would download this. It does not work with this version. You have to download the OBS plus browser source, but do not be afraid. You can install this, uh, download and install this directly over what you have. It will keep every setting that you already have intact. It may say like, you know, it's unable to do the graphic hook.dll. Just hit ignore and continue on the installation. It will finish the installation. Everything will be good. And as I'll show you here, since this is the latest version, I just installed it less than 10 minutes ago. You hit plus and you get browser source as an option. You create your browser source. You can select whatever end up you choose here. I'm going to go to the Strexum stream, whatever the hell this is called copy URL because I just started this this morning in hopes to get this working and I've actually not even tested it yet so you guys are gonna be my guinea pig we're going to select here paste we're gonna go 1920 by 1080 and we do want the frames at 60 frames per second because I love 60 frames per second I really do and then we hit OK and then now we have the browser source with boom there it is that is now popped up for the browser source and what I can do here is just dis remove that display, and there you go. It all works, everything looks fantastic, everything is great, this is perfect. So, that has hopefully fixed your problem. If not, please leave a comment below and I will try and fix your problem with this because uh, I've been working at this for a couple hours and then realized that it was the stupidest thing ever that I did not have the broadcaster software installed, uh, the OBS and browser source. So go and do that and see if that doesn't fix your problem. If it did, please remember to leave a like. And if you have any questions, comment below. And if this helped you out enough that you want to see more of my crap, please hit the subscribe button. It helps me out a lot. I will catch you guys in the next video.